we just witnessed the scariest part about the Kansas City Chiefs. So we're going to be going through that and three other stories in today's video. So make sure to like this video, and if you want more Kansas City Chiefs news content like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel by hitting that red button down below. The first story is the Kansas City Chiefs to bench Patrick Mahomes in upcoming matchup. With no ground to gain in the AFC playoff picture by beating the Los Angeles Chargers on Sunday, the Kansas City Chiefs are in preservation mode. Blaine Gabbert will start in place of quarterback Patrick Mahomes, and multiple regulars are headed for plenty of rest, in a game head coach Andy Reid said would be used as a good audition for younger players. Gabbert said he told the team, go out there and have fun. Win or lose to the Chargers, Kansas City owns the number three seed in the AFC regardless of any outcome on the Sunday schedule. Los Angeles has lost four consecutive games and seven of its last eight. Among Gabbert's goals for the game get tight end Travis Kelsey over 1,000 receiving yards for the eighth consecutive season. He's at 984 through 16 games. Kelsey, who was in active week one with a knee injury, had a season-best 12 catches and 179 yards in Kansas City's win over the Chargers in week seven. He's the best, Gabbert said. He has a rare feel for the game of football. He sees the game like a quarterback. Reed hasn't made the final call on Kelsey's status, but Gabbert said the prolific production is a standard for not just Kelsey, but the entire organization. If he wants to play, he'll play. If Coach Reed says have him rest, he's going to rest, Gabbert said. Ultimately, that's on Coach Reed. But if we're out there, we're going to do our damn best to get him 17 yards. Mahomes was NFL MVP in 2022 with 5 250 passing yards and 41 touchdowns, leading Kansas City to another Super Bowl victory in February. The Chiefs will fall short of the 14-3 record they posted in 2022, and Mahomes' totals aren't as glowing – 4,183 passing yards, 27 touchdowns. His only 4-TD game this season was October 22nd in the first meeting with the Chargers. The Kansas City Chiefs have a partial bye week heading into their regular season finale. With the number three seed locked in regardless if they beat the Los Angeles Chargers, Chiefs head coach Andy Reid is resting quarterback Patrick Mahomes. Speaking to reporters on Wednesday, January 3rd, Reid announced that backup quarterback Blaine Gabbert will start on Sunday. While Reid suggested he'd rest several key players for Sunday's game, he didn't give any specific names other than Mahomes. However, the bulk of Chiefs' kingdom wants to know if tight end Travis Kelsey will suit up against the Chargers. Kelsey is just 16 yards away from notching his eighth consecutive season with over 1,000 yards. If the future Hall of Famer doesn't play, his historic streak will come to an end. Gabbert, who's set to make his first start with the franchise, told reporters that he's keenly aware of Kelsey's big milestone. The best part of the culture we have here is that there's a lot of selfless individuals, Gabbert said. I know Travis is 16 yards away from 1,000. We all know that, okay? But that's not how Trav plays. He wants team success first. He's always been that way. He genuinely loves football. While Gabbert doesn't yet know if Kelsey will play if he does, the 12-year veteran promised to get him the ball. If he wants to play, he'll play. If Coach Reed says have him rest, he's gonna rest. Ultimately, that's on Coach Reed, but if we're out there, we're going to do our damn best to get him 17 yards may say it doesn't mean anything, but it means something to the quarterback and for this organization for him to get 1,000 yards. Gabbert signed a one-year, $1.3 million contract with Kansas City last April. He briefly filled in for Mahomes during the Chiefs' 41-10 route over the Chicago Bears in Week 3. He threw two interceptions in five passing attempts. Kelsey isn't the only starter nearing a milestone ahead of the regular season finale. Chiefs running back Isaiah Pacheco is 65 yards away from recording his first season with over 1,000 yards. Wide receiver Rashi Rice only needs 62 yards before notching 1,000 yards in his rookie season. Defensive tackle Chris Jones earns a $125 million bonus if he records 10 sacks. Thus far this season, Jones has tallied 9.5 sacks. If these players aren't at full health, however, it's hard to imagine Reed letting them play. With the outcome of the Week 18 matchup having zero effect on the Chiefs' postseason run and the Chargers already eliminated from contention, Gabbert sent the team a simple message. I told the guys just to have fun, Gabbert said. A lot of them are getting a chance to play or start for the first time, right? 
I've been fortunate enough to start quite a few games in the NFL, and these opportunities don't come around often. Just make the most of them, have fun, cut it loose, and go play ball. The second story is, the deal Chris Jones made with the KC Chiefs is only partially paying off. As of Wednesday morning, the Kansas City Chiefs have yet to reveal whether their stars will play in Sunday's regular season finale against the Los Angeles Chargers. One of the players just about everyone has their eyes on is defensive tackle Chris Jones, and for good reason. Jones is half a sack away from hitting a pretty significant incentive benchmark in the new contract he signed with the team in September. Should he accomplish that feat and hit the 10-sack bar on the season, he'll earn $125 million via a likely-to-be-earned trigger. That, combined with incentives he's already hit for 35% and 50% of snaps played, each one num has the potential to bring the four-time Pro Bowler to 325 miles combined. In his new and improved contract with Kansas City, Jones has multiple other incentives he either won't hit or faces a serious uphill battle to meet. For example, he can almost surely kiss a $500,000 bonus for 15 sacks goodbye. With odds outside the top 10 for Defensive Player of the Year, he can do the same for a 2 m dollars incentive there, which also requires a Super Bowl win. The jury is still out on the final incentive, a one dollar checkpoint if Jones makes first team all pro and the Chiefs make the Super Bowl. Estimates for what Jones lost during his summer holdout vary, but most settle between 3.6, 3.9. The 2022 all pro pass rusher forfeited plenty of money and was fined even more for not reporting to the team while holding out. Examples include a $500,000 workout bonus, nearly $100,000 for not attending mandatory minicamp, training camp no-show fines in the ballpark of $2, and a week one game check in excess of one hours. The Chiefs extended an olive branch to Jones and provided him with opportunities to recoup some or all of what he lost. Heck, they even gave him the upside to earn the raise he campaigned for during the offseason. With that said, he's set to fall well short of his 100th percentile outcome and appears destined for something more like a middle ground. Jones claimed at the time that he got it all back, but that turned out to be more of a possibility than a guarantee. If he gets that 10-sack incentive, he could come close to everything being a wash. Prior to Kansas City's Week 11 game against the Philadelphia Eagles, Jones said he wasn't worried about not being able to reach his incentives, saying, I'm gonna hit my numbers. The star lineman came out and notched two sacks just a handful of days later. Over the next six weeks, however, he had a four-game streak without a sack and now has recorded one in back-to-back -back contests. That mixed production and the narrow margin of needing to play in week 18 to earn a major incentive is a near-perfect encapsulation of this entire situation. Things between Jones's camp and the Chiefs are reportedly amicable, although it remains to be seen whether the 29-year-old will be on the team next season. An enormous franchise tag value for 2024 would be tough for the franchise to stomach, but so would a long-term deal at a certain price. Projections for his market remain high, with Spotrac's calculated market value putting him at 28.1 meters per year, and Brad Spielberger of Pro Football Focus projecting a four-year, $120 million mega deal. If either of those ends up being the case, Jones's bet on himself won't have been for nothing. On the other hand, he's been walking a razor-thin tightrope for months. Getting back to right around square one seems to be the most likely outcome here. The third story is Andy Reid's two-word response on Travis Kelsey performance lately. The Kansas City Chiefs travel to Los Angeles to face the Chargers in Week 18, but the game is meaningless. Kansas City is locked in as the number three seed whether or not they win. Speaking to reporters on Wednesday, January 3rd, Chiefs head coach Andy Reid announced that quarterback Patrick Mahomes will not play on Sunday against the Chargers. Instead, backup quarterback Blaine Gabbert will get the start. The decision doesn't come as a huge surprise. Risking an injury to their $450 million franchise star in a zero-consequence game is a huge gamble. As for Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey, Reed left the door open for him to play. We'll see, he said, per SI's Jordan Footy. Putting him in a position to possibly get hurt before the playoffs is hazardous, but Kelsey is nearing a huge millstone in week 18. The teak end is just 16 yards away from notching his eighth consecutive season with over 1,000 yards. 
It's unclear if there's a financial bonus in his contract for that mark, but the future Hall of Famer's historic streak will come to an end if he doesn't play. If Kelsey doesn't suit up for the Week 18 matchup, it's unknown if his girlfriend Taylor Swift will travel to Sophie for the anticlimactic game. As for Mahomes, he already hit a personal milestone during the Chiefs' 25-17 win over the Cincinnati Bengals last week. The two-time Super Bowl MVP topped over 4,000 passing yards on the season for the sixth straight season. Only five other quarterbacks own longer streaks in NFL history, per Chiefs reporter Matt McMullen. Drew Brees, Matt Ryan, Phillip Rivers, Peyton Manning, and Matthew Stafford. In addition to Kelsey, there are three other key starters who might be fighting to play in the regular season finale. 